Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from gospelthroughwords.com. I'm encouraged to speak about the Word of God with you today. Happy Monday to you all. Uh, if I'm in Toronto, today would be a working day. And I wish you all a wonderful week ahead. And we're still in uh, Florida. And uh, we're having a nice time, even though the weather is not what we expected. We were expecting warmer weather, so we were brought, in, we brought summer clothes. But... Um, the wind has been a little cold so we have to wear our jackets uh, spring jackets when we are out so that uh, it'll keep us all warm but we've had a really good wonderful time god has been so faithful the children enjoyed yesterday the sea world and uh, they had so much fun we saw many shows we saw the Kilville Orca show and we saw uh, penguins, uh, flamingos, um, what do you call it, a dolphin show, um, stingrays and uh, so many other things. So the children had the blast and we all had a wonderful time. God is so faithful. Yesterday night when I came home, uh, I was so thankful to God for his goodness. And um, I was just um, looking at the pictures and I just remembered a picture I took in front of the sea world, uh, my sons um, and my daughter I took yesterday. And I was looking at it and I remembered seven years ago when we came to Florida with our two sons. Our sons were very, very um, young at that time, very uh, small at that time. And I remember Jason was um, in the stroller even though he was able to walk. It was too much for him. The, the parks were too much for him. The, especially the sea world was too much for him. And I remember that day, seven years ago, he had a tan uh, temper tantrum and he didn't want to do any more of sea world. And not even half a day we were there um, seven years ago and um, he didn't want to even stay in the stroller. He was crying through all the shows, so we ended up coming back to our hotel that time, seven years ago, um, halfway through, not doing anything. Uh, but we um, we paid for the whole day in SeaWorld. So that memory came to my mind, and I was so thankful to God. And now he is 15 years old, both my sons are 15 years old. God has brought them so much. And uh, I saw yesterday Jason enjoying the shows, even clapping for the shows. And uh, when the shows were ending, uh, when everyone's clapping, he clapped and he loved to um, appreciate that shows that he saw. And he walked a lot. We walked so many places yesterday to see even the other um, Disney World, um, Magic Kingdom, um, Animal Kingdom and uh, all these places that we went to Disney Springs. He had to do a lot of walking. He was so cooperative, he enjoyed, he took every moment and uh, he loved it. He So he was such a blessing to us and our family. So the other children can enjoy. My daughter was able to go on all the kiddie rides. They were so patient. It takes so much patience to go on rides and wait in queues and all these things. So. And I remember that same picture that we took in front of Seaboard, one uh, where Daniel uh, was standing with me and Jason was on the stroller, small as ever, seven years ago. And that memory brought me how good God has been. He's done something new in our lives. He's, something done, he's done something amazing, wonderful in our lives. And so I'm so grateful and thankful. So uh, yesterday I shared that testimony with uh, the social media groups that I am involved just to give God praise because I was so thankful. God has been so, so good to our boys, to our children, to our family, to all of us. So if we didn't um, enjoy that trip, we would not be able to go in on any of the rides or any of the trips. We would uh, be able not to take him at all or I would not be able to go at all or something like that. There are many families that I know who have children and uh, it will be really difficult if they are at that age, they still have the uh, autism symptoms and they would have struggles. But God has restored our two boys and God has done amazing things in their lives. So I was so grateful and thankful. So I know God is always doing something new in our lives. He is, oh, he deserves all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Today we are planning to go to Epcot and um, it'll be lovely to uh, spend the time um, 
in Epcot and also this time we have our, one of my friends from school and her family so it's even nicer my husband has company and I have company and the children have company and it'll it's a really lovely blessing God has given so today I want to encourage you with the word of God and tell you that Monday today is a Monday and if I'm in Toronto I'll be working today God is doing something new Isaiah chapter 13 verse 19 it says Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 it says behold I'm doing a new thing now it springs forth do you not perceive it I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert God will make a way in the wilderness he will make rivers in the desert no matter your situation looks impossible seven years ago <clears throat> when I looked at my situation it looked impossible I had no way out but only God only God he made a way in the desert he made springs come forth in the wilderness God is doing something new in your life and he's doing something new in mine I know at this age uh, at this time at this uh, stage in my life God is not only concentrating on doing the old things that he's doing keep on doing the old things but he is planning something new something new in your life are you expecting it are you looking forward to it are you making way for it are you getting rid of the old things that would hinder hinder you to make room for the new things I know sometimes we we get you to hold on to things and God wants to let go of those old things because he's going to do something new. You need more space. Uh, I remember when we went to my sister-in-law's place in Virginia. Before I went to Virginia, I knew, I knew that I'll be doing a lot of shopping, like clothes. I'll be buying for the kids and for myself. So what I did was I cleaned up the closets. I took all, all the old ones or whatever that is broken, whatever that was not good. I put them, recycled them. So I made room for the new ones. So when we went shopping Christmas time and we brought back from Virginia, I had room to put them because where is room if you don't have, if you have not cleared the old ones. So God is asking you and me to take a look, take a look at our, our lives and see if there's any old things. Say that if, there, if you're keeping anger in your heart, if you're keeping resentment in your heart, if you're keeping unforgiveness in your heart, if you're keeping... Um, um, not um, on all the old memories all the old thoughts in your mind God wants you to remove that God wants you to ask Holy Spirit to remove that and God is going to do something new in your life he is so faithful he says don't you see it? don't you preserve it don't you see that I'm doing something new in your life God has done something new in my life seven years ago up to now he's done amazing great millions of new things in my life and I know that he will do something new in your life as well commit your ways to him direct your steps to him he is so faithful have a wonderful day my brother and sister let's pray today father we come to you Lord we thank you that you are a God who makes new things Lord we thank you that you take our broken pieces and make something new <coughs> Lord we thank you seven years ago when I remember how my life was and how you have turned everything around. You made something new in my life. So, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for my brother and my sister. Touch them today. Help them to know that you are creating something new. Help them to get rid of all the old things that will hinder to keep your new things, Lord. So, Lord, direct our steps today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, I don't have a song in my heart, but I can say... Uh, something beautiful, something beautiful, something good. All my confusion, he understood. All I had to offer him was brokenness and strife. He made something beautiful. He made something beautiful. Yes, he made something beautiful out of my life. Something beautiful. Something good, all my confusion, he understood all I had to offer him was brokenness and strife. He made something beautiful out of my life.
Have a wonderful day. Commit your ways to him. He will make something new in your life. Have a good day. I will put some videos of yesterday's evil so you can see and experience as well. God bless you. <laughs>